Thanks for joining me tonight, Tim Peterson, along with Mitch Kieran, who's behind the camera and will be a little bit on the mic tonight as well. But it is time for some Siouxland Conference volleyball between Boyden Hall, the Comets, against the Okaboji Pioneers. Boyden Hall comes into this game with a record of 20 and 7 and 6 and 1 in the conference. Okaboji entering with a record of 11 and 17, 2 and 6 in the conference. Head coach Justine Dreyer leads this Boyden Hall Comets squad. She's their head coach and Ashley Lindquist is the head coach for the Okaboji Pioneers who also will be joining us in the post game show tonight a little bit later on and we'll talk a little bit about her the upcoming schedule and how the season went and we'll maybe talk a little bit about the seniors. Well let's get to the starters here tonight for the visiting Boyden Hall Comets it'll be Jewel Bergstrom Ellie or she's a junior Ellie Wahlberger is a junior Mary or Macy Verhoff is a junior they have Emma Zoot, a senior, Leah Roseboom, a senior, and Marissa Potabom, a junior. This is the pregame Lakes Regional Healthcare in Spirit Lake pregame show. It's online at lakeshealth.org. We'll be back with Ogoboji starting lineup right after the national anthem. Imagine a surgery with less pain, where it's minimally invasive. You have a faster recovery and you receive better results. At Lakes Regional Healthcare, the only hospital with comprehensive robotic surgery in Northwest Iowa, surgeons provided robotic surgeries for orthopedic, gynecological, and general surgical procedures such as hip and knee replacement, hysterectomies, colon resections, gallbladder removal, hernia repairs, and more. So when you need surgery, look to the only area hospital with comprehensive robotic surgery. Look to Lakes Regional Healthcare in Spirit Lake. At United Community Bank, we're actively engaged in developing, strengthening, and energizing our communities by investing in people and their hopes and dreams for the future. Let us go to work for you, supporting your goals and helping you succeed. We look forward to being a part of your financial future. United Community Bank, with locations in Milford, Okaboji, Hartley, Ocheden, and Lake Park. Member FDIC. United Community Bank, dedicated to your financial success. So it is the regular season finale, finale between Okaboji and Boyden Hall. I'm Tim Peterson, and let's get back to the starters. I'll go over them again. Boyden Hall, their starters look like this. Jewel Bergstrom, she's a 5'7 senior. Ellie Wober is a 5'9 junior. Macy Verhoff is a 5'10 junior. Emma Zoot is a 5'9 senior. Leah Rosenboom, a 5'11 senior. And Marlissa Potabom, a 5'11 junior. And that's the starters for the Comets for the Okaboji Pioneers. It looks like this. It'll be junior Ellie Hansen at 5'6. Olivia Lorenzen at 5'6. She's a sophomore. Sophomore McKenna Helmers, a 5'7. Sophomore Ellie, or Ella Stoll, a 5'10 junior. Emma Larson, a 5'8 senior. Megan Titterington, a 5'10 junior. And Montana Wilson, a 6-1 junior. Okaboji won the flip, so they'll be serving to get things started here tonight at home. They're in the gray uniforms, as you can see, against the Comets in the black, and these two teams will remain on those two sides, so you don't have to worry about wondering who's on what side if you can't see your screen very well. Okaboji to serve, Emma Larson to start, and boom, we're underway. Comets set it up, far side, spike coming, nice block at the net, and knock straight back, nice job. Look like Tinnerington or Wilson was down there to get a hand on that one. And it's 1-0 Okaboji. Good start here for the Pioneers. A bit of an uphill battle against a good Boyden Hole volleyball team here. 
Larson serves the next one up. Good bump. Nice set. It's a back set. Spike is out of bounds. There's a miss hit by Macy Verhoff, the junior. 2-0. Yeah, for Okaboji, they're really going to have to play on the defensive tonight. Boyden Hole looking like a very aggressive offensive team. Doing a nice job just setting things up early on, but they just can't get the hits. Another one goes out. Yeah, uh, they're just going to take advantage of all these early mistakes and just really just try to play for five sets tonight for Boyden Hole. They know they're going to be set up nicely by Jewel Bergstrom. 600 assists, if I'm seeing that correctly, on the stats. Wow, that's not just this year. Oh, oh very good. <laughs> good spike there. Okabuchi, the first time they've got a return one here. Larson had done a great job. Oh, and into the net. And in the net, no four hits. Okay, I thought they were in the net. I saw the net moving down there. Four nothing. Okaboji with the early lead. And tough set there. I'll just put her over. Lorenzen. Nice tap over. Well, I saw that one. It was actually Helmers hitting it. And, and then Lorenzen. 5-0. How about Okaboji out of the gates taking a 5 nothing lead over a 20-7 team? They're going to blow the whistle early before Boyden Hole could even get set up. Well, something happened on the Boyden Hole side if they weren't in right position or what. And it's 6-0. Larson still serving. Comets set it up again. Blocked partially at the net. Okaboji trying to keep it alive. Oh, just couldn't get it over. Larson threw that arm out. Tried to just pop it over, but couldn't get it. Yeah, just a tough play right there. The ball just came at her awkwardly, and obviously just a very tough setup there, but Boyden Hole now going to try to close the gap. Push to the back row, but too far by Wilson. You know, I talked to Montana Mitch uh, the other day, and I said, you know, this team, your team started off, and it seemed like you struggled to start the season. They, they had a lot of losses in there, and all of a sudden they just went on a win streak, and I asked her, what do you credit that to? Well, there's a miss hit by Larson. What do you credit that to? And she goes, you know, we're just kind of streaky. She had nothing to really put a finger on. I said, okay. <laughs> well, well, for volleyball, it's such a sport about momentum. And Okaboji got it for the first six points. But don't count Boyden Hole out just yet. They're Here closing they the gap. But without a doubt, Okaboji, they had a weekend tournament win to their name. And without a doubt, they've just been competitors. You can't take that away from this year. Wilson right into the net. Boy, it was 6 nothing. now it's 6-5. Boyden Hole on a roll. It's their libero serving. And that's Sarah Bugard, a senior. Just tipped over by Titterington and smacked out. Jewel Bergstrom hit that one out. And a change of the, changing of the guard, if you will. Some new players, a couple new ones in for the Pioneers and right in and back to serve. Is Danny Danny Christoffel's a 5'6 junior. Well, this is so much easier to do on video stream <laughs> rather than radio. And we take away some <laughs> steps and uh, folks get to see the action live. You can watch it at exploreokaboji.com, which is by the way you're at right now, or Facebook Live or our CF video channel as well on your Roku devices. And we hooked uh, our friend up earlier in the season with that. Yeah, that was a Harris Lake Park football game. Speaking of which, will be us back in the saddle again for opening round of Iowa High School football postseason tomorrow night. And last time we saw Harris Lake Park, they took on River Valley. That was a fantastic matchup, and hopefully it's the same tomorrow. Same team too, right? Correct yep, absolutely. 7-7 yeah. seven, seven now the score. End of the net service there. And that was Emma Zoot serving. Stole back in. Ellie Hansen will take a rest. Pioneers without a libero on the floor. Good hit from the back row off the hands of Verhoff. 8-8. Eight, eight. Well, serving seems to be the key here tonight so far. Both teams serving very well and just going on runs when they have the serve. Wilson, that spike floats to the back row. Nice bump, but into the neck, and Okaboji, no. 
And I was wondering if either Stoll or Allie Peters, who was in there, were going to be able to get it to that one. They could not. At that time it was Wolber just put a good smack on it, and Uncle Bo just couldn't cleanly uh, corral the ball, bump it up, and now they're looking to return it. Not the way they'd hoped for, and now setting up Boyden Hole. Okaboji got in a little scramble on their side, and Boyden Hole set up perfectly. That time, Marissa Potabom, 5'11, got up and just sent it straight down on Okaboji's side. Great kill. I think you got to say that name faster. It's more fun. Potabom. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> That'll be a fun name to call tonight. <laughs> And at that time, oh. Potabom almost got a block. Okaboji pushing it to the back corner. Wilson with right there, too. Brown's going to bump right over and give Boyden Hull a good chance to set things up. A back set off a of fingertip and out of bounds. The comments with another point. And that time, Okaboji braced for the spike. That time, Ali Peters did a good job at least getting up, but could not. Uh, Fully get in front of that one as that time spiked it up, and this time it was blocked in her favor. Way this time. So 12 to 8. Wooden hole on one of their runs now that they have the serve. Bergstrom with another up one. A couple of Bugards on this team Nora and Sarah Bugard for the Comets, a sophomore and a junior. They're sisters. Serve a boy in hole, and another ace. Couldn't dig it up in time. There hasn't been a lot of volleying in this one. It's pretty much just aces. Yeah, a lot of decisive uh, points so far, and now boy in hole getting on a bit of a run. Hard to believe Okaboji started this one with a 6 nothing lead in the Comets. Just unfazed by it, really. Got on a 14-2 and two run since. Hmm. There's a nice-looking spike, and down it goes. That was Ellie Wolber. Makes it 15 to 8. So far, Comets on a run. Pioneers take a timeout. We'll take a quick one, too. Be back shortly with more high school volleyball here on ExploreOkaboji.com. Today's banking is about so much more than numbers. It's about people, it's about community. It's about the next generation. Banking is personal. That's what we believe. And that's why we'll always put you first. Northwest Bank. Commitment you can bank on. At Iowa Lakes Electric Cooperative, we are member owned. That means everyone who gets their power from Iowa Lakes is also an owner. That's the cooperative difference. The power is yours at your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative. She shoots, she scores! Touchdown Pioneers! Wow, what a throw! Hey Pioneer fans, this is Kurt Karstens with Karstens Financial Group in Arnold's Park. And no matter the season, I want to wish all of our athletes and coaches the best of luck for a fun, healthy season. Go Pioneers! 15-8, Comet still serving out of the timeout. They're on a good run here. And Bergstrom smacks it over. Pioneers will try to set it up out of that timeout, see if they can get this back. Comets have been on a roll. Nice block at the net. It was Peters getting there and with that nice block. Timeout for Lindquist. Coach Lindquist paid off. And yeah, for Okaboji, they just got to play tough against another good team. They've been in a situation before playing good volleyball teams all season long. And that time, Peters once again with another nice block. Here's the serve by Avery Lambertus, who just came into the game. Blocked at the net, but it goes out. And Okaboji can't return the favor on the serving. One and done, 16-9. Bump it, move it to the front row. Peters down the line. Played forward just to tap over, and nobody there. Thought she was going to spike it. Instead, Wahlberg just touches it over. A lot 
lot of Boyden Hall fans on hand here tonight. They're on the near side of the court, so you won't be able to see them. A lot of them making oh, there we go. the travel. Oh, yeah, I can, <laughs> that thing rotates. I'll be dang. The technology go. nowadays. Yeah, I'm just trying to follow wherever you're talking. <laughs> yeah, double hit. Yep. Lambertus. Yeah, but like you mentioned, Tim, not a whole lot of volleying tonight. A lot of decisive points. And for Boyden Hole, they've been on this impressive run about 19 to 3 since Okaboji really got out of the gate 6 to nothing. But they've just set themselves up really nicely. And Okaboji this time. Getting a little aggressive on their own. Nice smack that time from Emma Larson, and it goes off the fingertips on a deflection from Boyden Hole that time. They're finally back on the scoreboard, 19 to 10. And one of the officials tonight, Daryl Meyer, who used to be a coach over in, for Harris Lake Park for many years. That one tapped and blocked nicely, and they can't get it back over. Comets will just send this one over now. Oh, nobody there to the campfire. Somebody lit it, and... It fell in between all the people around 2010. And Scott Nolte's rule, first to 20 is boy in the hole. Let's see if they'll capitalize. You cursed it. Well, <laughs> maybe that's good for our Okaboji fans at least, but uh, still 20 to 11 here in set number one. Okaboji trying to close the gap here. Got some work to do. See if they can go on a run. There's the serve. Set straight forward, and then I don't know if that was blocked or into the net. That was deflected and out of bounds. Oh, okay. I thought maybe they just hit the net, but no, it was blocked, just out of bounds. Yeah. Here's Zoot to serve. Ooh, tough dig, and it's another ace. Explorer Kaboji. And us would like to thank United Community Bank and Okaboji Schools for sponsoring high school sports here tonight. That serve is a little floater. Nice one. And a scramble. Pioneers will try to just push it over. They just get it over. Set up far side. Boom. Wow. That one would have left a mark. It might have dented the floor as Leo Rosenboom hammered it down. The senior got up. She's 5'11 and really put it down. A lot of velocity on these spikes on Boyden Hole. They're like a very solid volleyball team here. That one's going to just clear the net, but it goes out. And we did that game. Was that with you or was that with Scott where earlier in the season a girl spiked it right into the face of another girl? You told me about okay. that, so I believe that was Emmitsburg. Was, and yeah, it was with Scott then. And yeah. Ugh, there was a little blood, but the girl was just fine. Oh, no. She was actually smiling. That's how I got to see <laughs> that there was a little blood. She had red teeth, kind of looked like a vampire. Just say that because Halloween's coming up. Uh, uh, volleyball players are a lot tougher when you have, you know, these volleyballs just coming in with the velocity that they do. As a kid, you're playing dodgeball, and you're kind of scared to throw it at a girl. <laughs> nah. They play volleyball. They can, they can not only take it, they can deliver. <laughs> Back row push. Just out. And that's the first game, 25-12. We'll end it. Boyden Hall gets that one. They are heavily favored here tonight and showed why. Pioneer's going to have to tighten up and figure out how to Return some of these serves in the first set. And into the second set are sponsored by Okaboji Motor Company Service Department and Collision Department. We'll have more volleyball coming up when we return here on ExploreOkaboji.com. This is Jeremiah at Heartland Paint, Glass, and Locksmithing. We understand that hard work, dedication, and grit are the values of a successful team. And we stand behind all local students and athletes during this time of adversity. Come discover what we can do for your home or business. Heartland Paint, Glass, and Locksmithing, Highway 71, Spirit Lake. This is Scott Troutman with State Farm and Spirit Lake. All across the country, drivers are reaping the rewards of safer driving with the updated Drive Safe and Save app, where you can earn a discount of up to 30%. Call Scott Troutman State Farm at 336-2499. What does it mean to be on a team? It means other people are depending on you. That's why the Bank Midwest team supports student athletes, because we know being part of a team teaches you a lot. So good luck to your team from ours. Bank Midwest, member FDIC. Okaboji High School is proud to sponsor all Okaboji students in their activities. Okaboji High School wishes good luck to the Okaboji Pioneers as they work hard all season. Be proud to represent the Okaboji Pioneers in education and activities. Well, 
1-0. Boyden Hall wins that first game. I'm Tim Peterson alongside Mitch Kieran, who's also running camera and computer duties. So if he doesn't speak for a little bit, there's a reason. He's he's busy. I am a little busy. You caught me fumbling over the score in the first set earlier. I appreciate that, by the way. But uh, set number one going to Boyden Hall, 25-12. to And... You know, a 20 and 7 overall record, not hard to see why they're atop of the Siouxland Conference here. And for Okaboji, already knowing their postseason assignment uh, on Monday, the Class 3A Region 1 at Unity Christian. That game can be heard on Y100. That serve tickles the twine and goes over. Pioneers will just punch it over. That's a tap, Elwin, just tough play. Nice try there. By Lorenzen. Well, a lot of these faces we're going to see here coming up November, December, as a lot of them are on the basketball team as well, although the Okaboji gals are. Mm -hmm. Kayla Parson, or excuse me, Kaylee Parsons into the game. But back to serve for Okaboji. Emma Larson, who had a good run in that first game, got six straight points. 1-1 one, one score now. And it's just, that's tough. Melissa Potabom, the junior. Now, boy and hole, they have just gotten hot and fast. And this is going to be a bit of a preview for Okaboji, as this is, looks like a similarly built team to Unity Christian that they're going to be facing on Monday. A little bit more on that here as un, unable to return that serve. Unity Christian 17-4 overall undefeated in the War Eagle Conference. So they're looking like a solid team, too. For Okaboji, maybe some uh, adjustments to make from this matchup before that one. That was a miss hit. You know, and once the postseason start, post starts also, it's everybody's 0-0. Mm -hmm. zero and zero, So yep. you can't, they can't look at the records. They just got to go out and give everything they got and try to knock some of these teams off. Just got to play your game of volleyball. Far side, spike blocked, but it's going to go out. Wilson and Titterington were there. Five to one. Verhoff. Near side, Wilson, left-handed, back row, nice. Good placement. Trying to reach that was Verhoff, and she actually looked over at Coach Dreyer and had a little smile. They're still... Talking and smiling about it. For the Pioneers, back to serve. Danny Christoffels. Good serve up high. High set far side. Blocked. Montana Wilson getting back-to-back -back points that time. Pioneers now within two. A lot of these teams going to rely on Montana Wilson. She stepped up in a big way as... One of the top hitters this year for the volleyball team. It's going to be also exciting as uh, we're both a little eager to see how she'll uh, play for the basketball team as well after losing some uh, key seniors. You know, she's trimmed down. I thought that ball was tipped as it went out. They say no. She's trimmed down and seems to be more, more agile. We see her on the floor here. Number 25 right in the center of the court. Boyden hold back to serve. Bergstrom. Bump, set, Peters, no, bumped. Perfect, set, spike, blocked out of bounds. 7-3. Well, thanks to Carson's Financial Group, MHR Insurance, the Hut Bar and Grill, and Consumers Lumber Company for sponsoring parts of tonight's action and part of the boosters. That one tipped and out, 8-3. Bergstrom. Wilson will just touch it over. Nobody back there. Good eyesight. Good court vision by Wilson to see that nobody was back there and push that one over. Yeah, she's been making most of the plays here in set number two. Still eight to four. On your scoreboard, Zokaboji just trying to hang in here with a tough team. Titterington, the junior, back to serve. That one just touched the net and went over. Partially blocked and falls down and to the side of Larson. 
9-4. Pot of bomb to serve. Wilson, and that'll be punched over by Christoffels. Kept alive and just right to the hand of Wolber who puts it away. And just rattle around back and forth at the line. And once again, Boyan Hole has just been set up nicely. They've gotten pretty lucky on that aspect in a pop-up serve, trying to hit that front corner. Okaboji, good chance to return. Mm, Comets did a good job keeping that in play. And well, you get it to the right hand and they just put it away. That was Roseboom. Good job staying with the ball. Bumped up. Pioneers need to break this serve. Comets work it around from the back row to the back row, or the side row to the back row. And another point and a timeout for Coach Lindquist. 12 4 the score. I thank uh, a few sponsors here. How about Consumers Lumber Company? I think I already got them. I'll say it again Northwest Bank, State Farm Insurance, Agent Scott Troutman, and Iowa Lakes Electric. Co-op. We'll be back in 30 seconds with more volleyball here on ExploreOkaboji.com. News Shopper would like to wish the Okaboji Pioneers and area sports teams the best of success this season. The Lakes News Shopper appreciates all the hard work and dedication that the student athletes and coaches put into their seasons and are very proud of the Pioneers. For the best window and door solutions for your next project, choose superior quality to enhance the character of your home. Choose Marvin. Visit your local Marvin dealer, Consumer Lumber in Spirit Lake, Spencer, and Lake Park. Locally owned and operated since 1906. Northwest Iowa Bone, Joint, and Sports Surgeons have been providing excellent care to the community for the past 40 years. Their team offers specialized care, including sports medicine, as well as in-house physical therapy. Exceptional, dependable, local. Visit nwiabone.com. Are you paying too much for internet service? It's time to cut the wires, cut the charges. IGL Teleconnect is your local internet provider. No contracts, no hidden fees, no equipment rental, and no confusing packages for just $40 a month. IGL Teleconnect, we put you first. Out of the timeout, right into the action, it was Leah Roseboom for the Comets hitting a long one. A long spike attempt, it goes out. And Okaboji, this timeout pays off once again. They still trail, but they have the serve. Parsons knocks it over, set up, spike to the back, and out. Okaboji did a good job not getting a hand on that. Now they've got a couple points in a row. They need to go on a run. Parsons gets it over and floater. Just a touch over. Larson will set up to Peters. And it was blocked at the net, and they pop it over. Comets will try a far side spike. Double touched to the front row. Oh, and went too far. And perfect for Roseboom to put it away. It was a good job for Okaboji to stretch that play into a very nice volley as they've had a little bit of difficulty, but obviously not hard to see why with Boyden Hole on the spike making some crucial digs to extend plays like they just did, just one of those things to work on and try to improve as the game goes on. That one spiked into the net. Over Hoff. Pioneers will send a couple of their starting sophomores back in. Helmers and Lorenzen. Helmers serves it. Spike. And down. Well, these Comets got some good players up on the net. Know how to spike that ball, that's for sure. Up by a touchdown and an extra point. That one just put over. Now pushed, found a hole. There it is. Good court vision. Parsons couldn't get to it. Yeah, Boyden Hole having a good feel, wanting to go for the spike as well as want to just pop it over and just go for a precise hole that they see in the court. So just overall just solid offense, and they're scoring from all different sides here in all different ways. That time an ace serve from 
Number seven, Emma Zoot. 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 Good deal. Hanson tried to get it. Just couldn't get enough. Let's see if they go back at her again. Nope. They go to Parsons this time. Parsons stole. Blocked. And hit wide. 16 to 7. 16 to 8. Getting points while I breathe here. Yeah. Pioneers will take them. They need them. Oh, just pushed over. Smart play. Bergstrom. And just took out the set and the bump set and just turned into a quick windmill and just right in the center of the court. Good play. Do a good job watching and seeing where the openings are. Comets are tonight. That one hit long, wide. But it's almost like they look and see what the opening is, and then they decide where they're going to hit it. Are they going to play it over a teammate? They're going to tap it over? They're going to spike it? It's been working. They just hit on a swivel, and they got a really good feel for what is also going on on the other court. And at the same time, still doing a job. The bump, the set, and just the tap. Not, not the greatest set that time. Titterington will try to put it away. Nope. Off the net, played well. Comets will just have to play it over. Parson, Larson. Oh, a nice spike, but saved over. Well, Lorenzen got, got a hard one there, but mm, Okaboji ends up losing the point. Give a lot of credit to Jewel Bergstrom on that play. A ball going right into the net and played it perfectly, getting a nice dig, and keeping it alive for Boyden Hole, and the volley continues, and the Comets ultimately capitalize and outlast the Pioneers in that point. That one popped over and gets down. Nice job by Lorenzen. It almost seemed like a miss hit, but it worked out. Kind of came off her hand funny. Still a 10-point lead. Larson back to serve. Popped up. Set. Spike down. Pot bomb and that's what they teach you to do, and the Comets do it well. They're the first ones to 20 again here in the second game. They won the first one 25 to 12, looking to win this one as well. To the top of the net, and unable to handle it was Helmers. That ball went into the crowd. They're going to take that ball out and do some sanitation on it. Timeouts taken. The score 21 to 9. Okiboji on their heels. We'll see if they can get back on track when we return here on ExploreOkiboji.com. Hot Bar and Grill in Arnold Park is open for lunch and dinner seven days a week, and breakfast is served Saturdays and Sundays starting at 8 a.m. So if you're looking for fantastic food served up hot, fresh, and delicious, and service that gets you in and on your way, head to the Hut in Arnold Park. Northwest Bank is top notch. You may be a one-time customer, you may be a lifetime customer, but they're always going to look out for you and take care of you. Northwest Bank has the ability to help you do what you need to have done with your mortgage. To me, probably the number one thing is their ability to get the job done. Easy to work with, explain things very well, the people that you trust and people that you see every day. That type of skill and knowledge sitting behind that desk when you're coming to sign those papers is very important. I've always trusted Northwest Bank and I definitely trust them with the biggest purchase we've ever made. Head down the highway to MHR Insurance and get the power of one from West Bend. Simplify with one policy, one affordable premium, one common loss deductible, oh, and money back at the end of the year when you're claim free. What? Money back? See MHR Insurance in Milford or call 338-2654. Live action. Comets serve. Boji popped it over. Comets have it again. They'll go for the spike and into the net. Blue the Pioneers went. 22 to 9. And Boyden, Boyden Hall just is rolling here again. They got off to a tough start in game one. And just have been rolling ever since they trailed 6 0 in that game one. Ended up winning, only giving up six more points the rest of the time. Now they have a big lead again here in game two. And Boyden Hall just a team that does not make a lot of mistakes. And once again, they're back to another set point as Zokoboji just 
Still trying to set themselves up, but struggling against a solid team. That one hits the top of the net, drops down. Me. There's not much you can do against that. Wow. Beautiful yep. serve, ends game two. And really just cannot play that whatsoever. And Boyden Hole just with an unplayable dagger to take the second set. They win that one by 16 points, 25 to 9. And in between sets, once again, brought to you by Okiboji Motor Company Service Department and Collision Department. Be back shortly with more volleyball. Game number three coming up here on ExploreOkiboji.com. Doctors Norland and Cornwall and the entire staff of the Eye Care Center would like to remind athletes to do your best and have a great season. When you have eye care needs, visit the Eye Care Center just north of the hospital in Spirit Lake. The Eye Care Center is proud to offer you professional service and personal care for all your eye care needs. The Eye Care Center has a large selection of quality eyeglass frames and the most up-to-date styles. Call today to make an appointment with the professionals at the Eye Care Center in Spirit Lake. Hi, this is Kayleen, the service manager at Okaboji Motor Company. 2020 has been a year of change and uncertainty. Our hours are the same, Monday to Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. We have the same experienced staff you've learned to trust to care for your vehicle needs. We will continue to support our communities and our schools because we care about you, our customers. Our service department is constantly running specials. Check them out at okabojigmtoyota.com. Stay safe. Stay healthy and stay loyal, as we will for you. Thank you, Okaboji Motor Company Service Department. Two games to zero. Boyden Hole leading Okaboji here in Okaboji, or in Milford, actually, at Okaboji. I'm Tim Peterson. He's Mitch Kiernan. We're getting ready for game number three, the Okaboji Pioneers. It's been a tough night for him so far, but it's a very good Boyden Hull squad, so it was kind of expected. You know, you just kind of hope Okaboji can maybe pull something out in his regular season finale, but so far it's been tough treading and maybe a little bit what some of us expected. Yeah, this isn't going to be the end of the year yet, so this is just a game to, once again, just take notes because I still think it's going to be a similar uh, situation when they take on Unity Christian in the opening round of post of postseason action starting on Monday game on Y100. Again, that's another tough team for Unity Christian. 17-4 and four overall, undefeated and at the top of the conference in the War Eagle. Look at that on the far side of the court, delivering popcorn to the yeah. crowd. Yep. Wow. Very Usher, nice. not only a favorite musical artist, but also a favorite popcorn delivery. Usher, Usher, Usher. That one goes out. Service here on the Pioneers. I thought maybe they were going to give it just to students, but I see some of the others getting some as well. Maybe they are just students. Maybe the other people already had some. Pays, pays to be in the student section tonight. Yeah. Titterington taps it over. No. Battle at the net. And it goes out. Lorenzen tried to get it. Couldn't keep it in. 3-0. Yeah, not too long ago, you brought up that 6 nothing run Okaboji started the night off with. Thought we were going to be in for a heck of a night of volleyball, but Boyden Hole has just kept their foot on the gas pedal ever since, mm. and Okaboji almost setting up Boyden Hole. That was just a bad bomb. Perfectly on that, yeah. And that's, that's been a handful of times we've seen that tonight. 4 nothing run for game number three to get started. Oh, another ace, beautiful serve. Helmers just couldn't reach it. Or could reach it, but couldn't get much on it, I should say. Well, thanks to IGL Teleconnect Bank Midwest and Northwest Iowa, Bone Joint, and Sports Surgeons, along with Collision Center. Touch, but nobody home, and the Pioneers break serve. Finally get it back. They only trail now by four after getting that point. Right back to serve is Christoffels. Hard serve. And that one's going to go out. Hit too long by Bugard. And the dig just very impressive as I know that was a very nice serve by Christoffels. Does it again. That one into the net. Another service error. 
Lead stands at four. Tried to take a little off that time and overcompensated, under hit. Good dig, and just punched over, nobody there. Or two of them there, but nobody could get to it. Nobody could do anything. And a lot of times in volleyball, I didn't notice that two players go for it. And nobody really goes for it because they're afraid of hurting or getting hurt, their teammate or themselves. Not like baseball, if they go for a fly ball back against the wall, they know it's just them and the wall, so they can go all in. Yeah, it's a lot more of a spacious game than uh, baseball, though. So this is uh, kind of tough. Is you know tightly knit there, and for Okaboji, you don't have the biggest window to react. So you gotta call ball, and you gotta just go with it. That was a beautiful catch in the Atlanta Braves game last night. If you saw that at all. Mm -hmm. This one's go up into the rafters, deflected it around. Pioneers will just have to bump it over, and they're gonna go along with it. There, if they would have got more height on it, the rafters could have helped. You got a ball stuck up in the rafters or something. <laughs> I know it's strange things when you start looking up oh. something, an orange ball of some sort. Or I think I'll catch it after this point. Looks <laughs> like a little dodgeball. Bombardment. 7-4 <laughs> the score. Oh, tough hit. Came off the hand funny there. Yep. It's a rogue dodgeball, looks yeah. like. I don't know why it would be throwing at the ceiling in a game of dodgeball. But it could have deflected off somebody. Huh. That... Ouch. I wonder how hard that ball was thrown. And that one goes the Comets way once again. And yep. 9-4 score. Wilson to the front. Oh, Peters up, and that's going to be a nice setup, but hit wide. They, Comets are, oh, they, that was in. It looks like the tower judge just called it himself. Wow. Must have just got with inside the line on that far side. She was set up perfect there by the Pioneers once yep. again, unfortunately, for the, the Pioneers. And the score is my birthday again, 4-10. Make sure you mark that down. Well, I'm, it's noted. I learned, <laughs> oh, I learned something today. He's a fiery Aries. <laughs> that one blocked but stayed on Okaboji's side. Bergstrom serves it. Wilson takes it up high. Can't do anything with that. Another timeout taken. 12 for the score. The Comets have been rolling ever since trailing 6 0 in game one. They won game one, game two, and they're looking to close things out here eventually in game three. More volleyball coming up shortly on ExploreOkaboji.com. Imagine a surgery with less pain, where it's minimally invasive. You have a faster recovery and you receive better results. At Lakes Regional Healthcare, the only hospital with comprehensive robotic surgery in Northwest Iowa, surgeons provided robotic surgeries for orthopedic, gynecological, and general surgical procedures such as hip and knee replacement, hysterectomies, colon resections, gallbladder removal, hernia repairs, and more. So when you need surgery, look to the only area hospital with comprehensive robotic surgery. Look to Lakes Regional Healthcare in Spirit Lake. At United Community Bank, we're actively engaged in developing, strengthening, and energizing our communities by investing in people and their hopes and dreams for the future. Let us go to work for you, supporting your goals and helping you succeed. We look forward to being a part of your financial future. United Community Bank, with locations in Milford, Okaboji, Hartley, Ocheden, and Lake Park. Member FDIC. United Community Bank, dedicated to your financial success. Well, a service error by the Comets got Okaboji the serve back, and now they'll try to set it up as they got a push back over and said they do it themselves. There's a spike down again. Another spike by Potabom. Another point for Boyden Hall, 13 to 5 the score. Seen a lot of just terrific spikes from Boyden Hall, and they've just been able to set themselves up so nicely on the offensive side, and for Okaboji. They're just trying to play to the defensive and still struggling to set themselves up, give themselves similar op offensive opportunities, but good dig that time. Just trying to make those in-game adjustments. What would happen on this one? Double hit. 
Pioneers have had that a few times tonight, the double hit. 14-5. The scramble. I'll just get it over. Peters with a nice spike. Allie Peters, the 5'10 junior, saw that line and put it right down. Good aim. Yeah, nice spike that time. She's been making a handful of nice plays. Just been right there in the front line, in the front net of the action all night. Helmers and Lorenzen back in. Helmers right back to serve. That spike kept up. They'll just have to play it over. Larson does so. To the far side. The spike blocked at the net. They'll try again. This time to the near side. Pioneers pop it up into the crowd. And you know, Parsons just had to play that one safe. She would have gone for that. She could have got hurt into those stands or could have taken out another student. Nine point lead. Wolber to serve. Larson, near side, popped over by Lorenzen. Spike blocked by Stoll. Can't get to that one, dug up nicely by Hansen. Lorenzen blocks, but keeps it alive. Helmers pushes it over. Far side, Spike, and it's gonna find its way down off the hand of Roseboom. And boy and Hole really just trying to make it a quick night here. They're closing in 16 to 6, and we started a little bit ahead of schedule. First serve scheduled for 7, but it's closing in on 7.30, and Pioneers just trying to fight to stay alive. This one goes out. When we got here, we saw the clock winding down and everything, and so some people might have missed part of that first game, but they... It's up, to, it's up to the teams when they start, not really up to us. It's a scheduled yep. time, but if they want to yep. decide to go early, well, nothing we can do about it, but yep. try to get on air with them. And that serve just missed. Ten-point lead. That serve bumped up. Try to push it over, blocked. Couple hits. Now they're just pushing to the back row. Nobody there. Yeah. And once again, good floor vision. She saw that. Yep. Nobody was back there. Rosemum did and yep. pushed it right back there. They have done that very nicely, just playing the ball to where the defense is set up, keeping the head on the swivel, and just knowing your options that time. Nobody home in the back row, and just a beautiful push to get that kill. Oh, a nice spike there. I don't think we've mentioned... Lakin Korselman yet this evening, a 5'9 senior. She just put that one down. Zoot serves it. Hansen touched over by Lorenzen. Far side. Blocked out of bounds. Off the hands of who else but Roseboom. 20-7. The serve, not a good dig. Pioneers will just push it over, blocked at the net, and then Titterington tried to keep it alive and punched it into the bench. 21-7, and another timeout taken by Coach Lindquist. 21-7, Comets open to close this out in three games. We'll find out if they can do so when we return here on ExploreRokoboji.com. Today's banking is about so much more than numbers. It's about people. It's about community. It's about the next generation. Banking is personal. That's what we believe. And that's why we'll always put you first. Northwest Bank. Commitment you can bank on. At Iowa Lakes Electric Cooperative, we are member-owned. That means everyone who gets their power from Iowa Lakes is also an owner. That's the cooperative difference. The power is yours at your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative. 
21 to seven. Comets with the lead, Tim Peterson, Mitch Kieran here, Okaboge High School final regular season volleyball game. Comets keeping it alive, they're a good team. A spike, nope, a push over by Roseboom. Set to the near side, Lorenzen will smack it over. Bumped up in the air. They just keep it alive and punched over. Okaboji just keeping it alive and now Helmers pops it over. Spike from the back row into the net. And Okaboji gets a point. Montana Wilson will check back in, switching out with Parsons. Serve is good. Front far corner, Spike, oh, just popped over. It got blocked and still got it over. Now Wilson hammers it down. Okaboji's up to nine. And that's what they had in the second game when they lost 25 to nine. Could be a big statement of Okaboji. Could close the gap here against a good volleyball team that has a lot of momentum on their side right now. They play confidently. Lorenzen partially blocked and it'll drop. Nice job by Olivia getting that up and over. Very good net player for just being five foot six. Without a doubt. Larson serves it. Punched over and into the rafters and now into the bleachers. Uh, that time just a tough play for the libero Ellie Hansen as she was trying to set it up after the dig and um, miscalculated and tried to track it down and didn't have enough time. Bogard serves it over. Titterington, no. Helmers with a good dig. Back set, Wilson blocked. She keeps it alive, but I think they're going to call it double touch or no lift. A no lift. lift. We don't have lifts down here. <laughs> <laughs> 23 to 10. If they are, maybe there's one. Hmm. Wilson dug up, but not in play. A great dig by Wol Wolber. Pioneers and Wilson get the point. Need a bunch more though, trailing by 12. Christoffel's to serve. Danny hits it nicely, dug up though. Spike off of fingertips and down it goes off Larson. Porcelman gets the point. She'll go back to serve for the game set match. Laken Horselman, L-A-I-K-E-N. That one serves and it goes wide. I think everybody was a little nervous. This was going to end on an ace. <laughs> it was a good looking serve, but it's like Coach Stumbo on the far corner and saw it just wide. Titterington back to serve. Pioneers cannot afford to lose a point. That's not going to get over the net. 24-13. This is the most points the Okaboji Pioneers have scored tonight. Tittering 10 again. Good serve. Tapped over. Popped up. Set up. Peters. Nope. Good dig. Far side. Set. Spike. Out. Point. Game. 25-13, the girls give each other's team a wave, saying good game, but Boyd Hall comes in here and does what they were expected to do. Pioneers couldn't get an upset. They lose the first game 25-12, second game 25-9, third game 25-13. That'll do it. 3-0 win for Boyd and Hall. That'll put us into our post-game show, and the post-game show is brought to you by the Eye Care Center, courtesy of Dr. Norland and Dr. Cornwall. We'll be back shortly and we'll 
have head coach Ashley Lindquist with us, I believe, and talked with her in the postgame show right here on ExploreRokaboji.com. Doctors Norland and Cornwall and the entire staff of the Eye Care Center would like to remind athletes to do your best and have a great season. When you have eye care needs, visit the Eye Care Center just north of the hospital in Spirit Lake. The Eye Care Center is proud to offer you professional service and personal care for all your eye care needs. The Eye Care Center has a large selection of quality eyeglass frames in the most up-to-date styles. Call today to make an appointment with the professionals at the Eye Care Center in Spirit Lake. Hi, this is Kayleen, the service manager at Okaboji Motor Company. 2020 has been a year of change and uncertainty. Our hours are the same, Monday to Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Saturday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. We have the same experienced staff you've learned to trust to care for your vehicle needs. We will continue to support our communities and our schools because we care about you, our customers. Our service department is constantly running specials. Check them out at okabojigmtoyota.com. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay loyal, as we will for you. Thank you, Okaboji Motor Company Service Department. Tim Peterson and Coach Lindquist here in the post-game show, and we're on camera. I know, crazy. <laughs> I feel like saying, hi, Mom. Hey, Mom. <laughs> She's probably watching. Oh, of course, every everyone. <laughs> right? She'll probably message me here in a second, letting, <laughs> letting me know, too. Um, tough game tonight, but they're, they're a good team, Boyden Hall is. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, they're ranked. They've beaten several of our conference opponents. Um, so I wasn't surprised with how they played. We knew it was going to be a really tough match coming in, but we had to play our best ball. And unfortunately, they were able to have a few more weapons than we did and were able to get us out of system. They seem to really have good court vision when they – either go to hit the ball they they had already looked on your side and peeked over or something and saw where the openings were <laughs> yes exactly um that's something that takes time to learn and we actually had a big discussion about that yesterday in <laughs> practice i said you guys need to see the ball see the hitter see the ball setter ball hitter ball getter like just back and forth it's just got to be a constant peripheral vision and it's something that it takes a while to learn and you can sure. definitely tell that those guys have played together a lot um and have definitely acquired that skill and they have good they have good height as well yeah and so not all the time are we always blessed with it but we definitely have a fair share of our own but uh yeah they seem to be you know five nine across the board well let's uh Talk about your season in, in, in its entire, entirety now that it's ended. What are some highs and uh, some things you're taking away from the season? Yeah, so it was, you know, great, great season. Um, this is most wins that Oak Butch Volleyball has had in the past, you know, three or four years, which is fantastic. Um, we definitely lost some close matches that should have probably gone our way. Um, but, you know, we can't always look back on that. But there's definitely been highs. We've um, adjusted to, you know, playing on sticks and needles all the time with pending coronavirus tests all season long. Um, just recently, like the past couple of weeks, we haven't had any, which is awesome. Um, but they really have gelled together as a team. You know, this is the first year that we've kind of separated things out, and they've always been together in the same gym. And, you know, I was very pleased with how they responded but still supported other teammates. And um, we were able to kind of get ahead of the game a little bit, and we're definitely more um, team cohesiveness all the way through. And, you know, I'm looking forward to next year because – we do only graduate Emma, and we're going to miss her dearly as she was running our 5-1 tonight. Um, but I got a lot of great juniors, and so I know that they'll be ready to play as well. Now, this is a question that's maybe a little more challenging than <laughs> maybe I set you up with in the, before I, we went on air here. But I was just thinking about it when you were talking about your season and everything, and with everything that's going on with the COVID and everything, does it change how a team is? I mean, do they bond differently? Do does different things happen that normally would than because um, you're playing in different circumstances? Yeah, I would say yes. Uh, so like I said, this is the first year that I've, from day one, practice number one, that I've split varsity into one gym by themselves and JV and our JVR freshman squads in the other gym. So they were literally never in the same gym the entire season, and that usually doesn't happen. Typically, we spend the first week or two all together, and so that everybody's familiar with them. Um, but I said, like, this year I don't feel like I've bonded myself as much with the JV and JVR players because I'm not in the gym every every day with them yeah. for that, you know, time frame because I'm always in the varsity gym working on things with them. Mm -hmm. So Makes definitely, it a little tougher. Yeah, definitely has made it a little bit challenging. Um, but we've made it work, and we're so blessed to have the facilities that we do to be able to run two separate practices at the same time, you know, just 
20 yards apart from each other. And your one senior, Emma Larson. Yep. Talk a little bit about her and... Uh, I mean, you've had time to bond with her, uh, yeah. apparently, you know, just being a senior, yep. <laughs> but, but not just this year, but yeah. hey, talk a little bit about her seeing that it's her last uh, regular season home game here. Yeah, so she actually came in last year as a transfer from CCE. Um, so we've definitely learned a lot about Emma in the past couple of years, um, which is fantastic. She's a great person. You know, she was our homecoming queen, if you didn't know that. So um, <laughs> she definitely uh, is a great leader for all of us, and she – is there to encourage her teammates on. Um, she is one of my best setters that I've had. And I love her drive. And I mean, last night even we spent, you know, 15, 20 minutes together after practice. Um, her, myself, and a couple of other girls. And she just wanted to work on hitting. And I said, well, I'll set for you. <laughs> so, and we were able to do that. And it was, you know, definitely a connection. And she will be very missed next year, just her presence and her um, court vision and just the experience that she brought to our team. Um, we'll de it'll be hard to replace her for sure. Kind of uh, a leadership thing also with when you only have a, you know, one, two, three, possibly games. I mean, yeah. Two games minimum left with this tonight yep. being over now, one more for sure. But just say, hey, coach, I want to hit some more. Um, geez, you know, it's almost the end of the season. You want, yeah. But that's good leadership. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, she's always striving to get better. And she's asking, you know, and she's giving um, criticism to teammates. And everybody gives it back to her. And she definitely takes it well. Good. That's a good thing to have. Yeah. Uh, so the queen bee. Yep. <laughs> the, qu the queen E. Um, one more for sure game. Let's yep. talk about that coming up. It's the... Uh, 3A Region 1, and it'll be at Unity Christian. We'll actually be covering that on Y100. Awesome. What do you know about that? Mitch knew a little bit about them. Thought, thought they were a bit like how these guys were. Yeah. Um, so, actually, uh, my husband's two first cousins are their starting outside hitters. So, it's definitely... Uh -huh. um, I haven't seen them actually fully play this year because they always play about the same nights we do. Sure. But um, I know that they're powerhouses. Um, they have great middles. They run a fast offense, and we're going to have to be ready to block and play some good defense. You can't have them over for dinner ahead of time and do something to. <laughs> you know, I was really <laughs> considering it, but I probably shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. To be the best, you got to beat the best when they're That's at right. the best. Yep, exactly. All right, Coach. Well, it's been a, f a fun year. I'm glad we were able to get out and do a couple of your games, and uh, it's wonderful that you're able to join us in the post game for an interview. Awesome. Thanks, Tim. All right, thank you, Coach. Linguist joining us in this post-game show tonight. Okaboji falls to Boyden Hull by a final scores. Well, game one is 25-12, then 25-9, then 25-13. And uh, that'll end the regular season. Now they go play at Unity Christian, as I just said, and we'll have that on Y100. Mitch joining back in. Nit, Mitch, good job running camera, talking, and computer tonight. Uh, well, I try, you know. It's, Triple threat, man. It's 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 not too hard. You know, I feel like I got a, a good end of the stick uh, getting teamed up with you on most of the sports commentary this fall season as it's always a lot of fun. Uh, speaking of which, I just want to give a quick rundown of the schedule. Uh, we got tomorrow night, a busy night for the opening round of postseason football for Iowa high school football. We'll have Okaboji football at Esterville Lincoln Central at on KUOO pregame at around 645, kickoff at 7. That one will be followed immediately by the coaches show on KUO starting at around 10. That's not all on Q102. You and I will have the cover of River Valley at Harris Lake Park on Y100. Eagle Grove at Emmitsburg. Both of those kicking off at 7 as well. Over on our sister station, KKOJ, just north of the Minnesota border. As Lee Larson calls it, the battle for the paddle. Wyndham at Jackson County Central. You can tune to that one on KKOJ. Also, all of these games can be streamed under the Listen tab at exploreokaboji.com or on the free Okaboji radio app. Well, Corey, Stacy, and Nancy are wanting to start some trivia with their family tonight, so <laughs> they're saying uh, wrap your post-game show up, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> they think I'm stalling just so I don't have to do trivia. <laughs> we do a little family trivia on Thursday nights. Oh, very fun. Yep. but Got that uh, to look forward it's to. It's nice being the smartest and the youngest and the best looking. Wow. Yeah. You, Triple threat also. Without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just got deleted off a of messenger from all of them. <laughs> Hey, but thanks for joining uh, everybody here tonight and, and watching uh, this volleyball game, Ogaboji's final regular season. We'll hope to catch you on Y100 in the uh, postseason. Yes, postseason. Mm -hmm. Jeez, that came quick. That'll be on Monday night on Y100 against Unity Christian.
That'll do it for tonight's broadcast of high school sports here on ExploreOkaboji.com. I'm Tim Peterson. He's Mitch Kieran. Thanks for tuning in.